While all snakes can evoke fear, there are some that are particularly more daunting than others. Which ones, you ask? These right here, presenting the seven snakes that deserve your utmost caution. Number seven, Mozambique Spitting Cobra. It is quite alarming to hear about animals that can spray their venom, and when it comes to snakes, it can be even more terrifying. In a previous conversation, I shared information about one such snake that has this ability. However, the Mozambique Spitting Cobra is another species that can spit venom, and they are much more aggressive in doing so. They are considered one of the most dangerous snakes in Africa, which is concerning given that many other deadly species also exist there. Their venom is as toxic as that of the American Mogave rattlesnake, which is considered the world's most venomous rattlesnake. Fortunately, these snakes are found only in Africa, specifically in Angola, Botswana, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. They prefer living in savanna areas that have water nearby in case they need to escape from predators quickly. Nevertheless, they will attack humans if they can, and they won't hesitate to spit their venom directly at someone, which is not at all desirable. The bite of the Mozambique spitting cobra can cause severe local tissue damage, which is very unpleasant. Venom in the eyes can also cause impaired vision or even blindness, which is terrible. The venom of this species contains postsynaptic neurotoxins and cytotoxins, and although there have been only a few fatalities resulting from their bites, survivors are generally left with disfigurement. It is a terrifying thought that even those who survived the snake's venom might be maimed in some way. In light of this, it is best to stay away from the Mozambique spitting cobra. Number 6. Boa Constrictor One of the most recognizable snakes is the boa constrictor. Its name aptly describes its behavior, as it squeezes its prey. Although not as long as the anaconda, the fully grown boa constrictor can be up to 13 feet in length and weigh over 100 pounds. Boa constrictors have small hooked teeth to grab their prey, and they can regrow their teeth if they become damaged. Unlike venomous snakes, they do not possess fangs and rely solely on constriction to capture their prey. Bow constrictors can even swallow prey larger than themselves by using their flexible jaws. These snakes can be found throughout the Americas, from northern Mexico to Central America, and from the west side of the Andes in Peru to the east side of Argentina. Although they prefer a solitary lifestyle, it is still best to avoid provoking them or any other wild animal. Some have even been introduced into Florida, where they have become a nuisance. Number 5. Boomslang I didn't come up with the name Boomslang. It's the name of a real snake that can pose a threat to your safety if you're not careful. This snake is the only species in its genus and is often referred to as the tree snake in different languages. On average, the Boomslang measures about 3 to 5 feet in length, but some can grow over 6 feet. Despite its length, it is quite lightweight and can weigh less than a pound. Don't underestimate this snake based on its size, as its egg-shaped head and large eyeballs give it incredible vision and make it difficult to sneak up on. Now, let's talk about the venom. The Boomslang's venom is potent and slow-acting, meaning that the victim may not realize they are in danger until it's too late. The venom is primarily a hemotoxin, which disables the coagulation process and can lead to internal and external bleeding. The venom has been known to cause hemorrhages into tissues, such as muscles in the brain, and can cause symptoms such as headache, nausea, sleepiness, and mental disorders. In short, the boom slang's venom can be fatal or cause severe health implications. I don't recommend getting too close to this snake, as it can be dangerous. Number four, the Mogave rattlesnake. And now, for the first true rattlesnake on the list, the Mogave rattlesnake. Now, I could very easily tell you that the rattlesnake is a dangerous thing, but why ruin the fun of making you suffer as you hear exactly how dangerous this one is? This is a particularly dangerous snake in parts of the United States and Mexico, and also should be noted that its population size is said to be unknown. As a result, you could be out in their habitat and not even know that they're right there with you until it's too late. Now on the bright side, they do tend to be nocturnal, as they usually live in hot areas and don't want to get baked by the sun. 
I can relate with that one, but they do come out on cooler days and that can cause problems. They have a reputation for being aggressive towards people and like other rattlesnakes, they will defend themselves vigorously when disturbed and you won't like them when they're disturbed because they have a highly venomous bite that's awaiting you if you do. They are the deadliest of all rattlesnakes and their potency can actually delay the effects of you realizing how badly you've been bitten. The venom can produce vision abnormalities and difficulty swallowing and speaking, and in severe cases, skeletal muscle weakness can lead to difficulty breathing and even respiratory failure. Oh, goodness. The good news is that because of how many bites there are in the past, they have an antivenom for you. So if you do get bitten and need medical treatment quickly, you should be fine, hopefully. Number 3. Saw-Scaled Viper some consider the saw-scaled viper to be the most lethal among all vipers. This may seem like it should put it at the top of the list, but that was not always the case. In the past, if you were bitten by this snake, the chances of survival were only about 80%. However, due to the development of an antivenom, fatalities from these bites are now rare. The venom was so potent that nine different antivenoms were created to ensure that proper treatment was available. On the other hand, if you happen to wander into their habitat without access to antivenom, the saw-scaled viper can still be very deadly. Number 2. Philippine Cobra The Philippine Cobra is a highly venomous snake that's native to the northern regions of the Philippines, hence the name Philippine Cobra, as if that shouldn't be obvious to you. A problem for those who live in the country is that these snakes are more than happy to live in places where humans like to roam. In fact, they're also known to sometimes live near or in human settlements are bad. Get worse. This is another spitting cobra, and they can spit venom at you from 10 feet away. You might not even see them before they spit venom in your eyeballs. The symptoms of a bite could include headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, dizziness, and difficulty breathing. But they can also cause necrosis and respiratory failure. Hence why they're so feared by so many people. Number 1. The Death Adder It's never a good sign when something has death in its name without irony. The Death Adder is a venomous snake found in Australia, Papua New Guinea, and surrounding islands. As Australia's top ambush predator, it's not a creature you want to mess with. Even if you don't pick a fight with it, the snake's venom can cause paralysis of extracular muscles, abdominal pain, headache, drowsiness, and enlargement of regional lymph nodes. In severe cases, the venom can shut down your respiratory system, leading to death by suffocation. Unfortunately, death adders are known to attack humans and pets regularly. However, they do sometimes give dry bites, which are warning bites that don't contain venom. So if you're unlucky, you might get bitten and suffer serious symptoms, or you might just get a warning. That's all the information about dangerous snake species that you should avoid. What did you think of the species that were shown to you today? Do you know if any of these species are present in your area? Will you make a note of them in case you encounter them in the future? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, take a look at the other fascinating things on the screen, and I'll see you next time.